Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this first Saturday of the month of November, we come home to the Manila Cathedral, the home of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, the patroness of our country. We ask her, to cover us under the mantle of her motherly protection. But we also ask her to teach us how to become true and authentic servants of God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health 
of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that now at last you revive your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lack an opportunity. Not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and ongoing hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have strength for everything through him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians indeed know that at the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift, rather, I am eager for the profit that accrues on your account. I have received full payment, and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Ephroditus, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with the glorious riches in Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lands, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved, and just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly, he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Hallelujah. 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees, who loved money, heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I thank all of you for joining me today on this first Saturday of the month as we honor Our Lady. And we also learn today from Our Lady, the handmaid, the servant of God. Matututo po tayo ngayong araw na ito sa ating mahal na ina. Paano nga ba ang maging Lingkod ng Panginoon. In our gospel reading today, we see Jesus talking about being a servant or a steward. How to become a faithful, a trustworthy servant. Paano nga ba tayo magiging mabuting lingkod at katiwala ng Diyos? Jesus asks us first to examine what is your relationship with money. What is your relationship with properties, with material treasures and wealth. Examine it. What is your relationship with wealth? And Jesus gives us a wisdom today. Yes, you take care of wealth. You manage your wealth. You invest on wealth. But you do not love wealth. Oo, iniingatan natin ang pera. Yan ay inaalagaan. Pero hindi minamahal ang pera. That is why Jesus, in our gospel today, said to his disciples, You do not love God 
and money. And in the gospel, the Pharisees are characterized by saying that the Pharisees loved money. But Jesus teaches his disciples, you do not love money. You can spend it, you can take care of it, but you do not love money. Ano po sa tingin ninyo? Tama ba si Jesus? Minamahal nga ba ang pera? Mga kapatid, hindi ka mamahalin yan. Baka mahal na mahal mo ang kayamanan, pero hindi ka mamahalin yan. That is why Jesus uses the image of a master. Wealth will not love you, but it can enslave you. That is your relationship with money. If you try to love money, it will not love you back. Instead, it will enslave you and it will become your master. My dear brothers and sisters, yes, take care of your wealth, but do not love it. Baka sabihin niyo sa akin, Father, hindi ko naman mahal yung kayamanan ko eh. Inaalagaan ko. Inaayos ko para sa aking pamilya. Pero hindi ko yan minamahal. Siguro maganda nga yung araw, pag-isipan nating mabuti yan. Talaga bang hindi mo minamahal ang kayamanan mo? Halimbawa, minsan, hindi mo lang na naramdaman yung cellphone sa tabi mo. Hinahanap mo agad, di ba? Asan ba ang cellphone ko? No, baka nawala. Ganyan ka rin ba sa asawa mo? Di mo lang maramdaman sa tabi mo, nasa ng asawa ko? O baka, yaa mo yan, yaa mo na siya, no? Mabuti pang wala siya sa tabi ko, no? Sino na ang mas mahal mo? Ang cellphone mo o ang asawa mo? Baka mas nararamdaman mo na, mas hinahanap mo na ang kayamanan mo kaysa sa asawa mo. Baka sabihin niyo sa akin, eh father, yung cellphone kasi hindi naman nagsasalita yan. Yung asawa ko, no? salita ng salita. Sino ba ang minamahal mo? Baka sampung oras ka sa cellphone sa maghapon, pero sa Diyos, limang minuto lang nakakatulog na tayo. Baka sabihin niyo sa akin, Father, I don't love my wealth. Examine. Let us examine ourselves. Maybe we love our wealth more than God. Maybe we love our cell phones more than your spouse, your husband, or your wife. We might be spending a lot of time with them that in the end, we love this wealth and they become our masters. The message of the first reading today is also beautiful in the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. St. Paul said to the Philippians, I thank you for your donations and help for me. But St. Paul said, I just want to clarify, I do not love what you give to me. <laughs> I do not love your donations. I love you. Your donations are helpful to me, but in the end, what is important is you. Last night, I was uh, reading some of the messages on our Facebook page. Sometimes, I still take the time to read 
all the messages there and just browse through them. And last night, there was a message that, uh, you know, I was touched by this message. And the lady said, Dear fathers, this is my love offering for the month. Matagal ko na kung hindi naririnig ang salitang love offering. Ako po ay lumaki sa charismatic community sa aming parokya. Dati ko, naririnig ko palagi yan, no? Our love offering. And I think this is a better way to understand what we give in the church. What we offer in the church comes from love. You give to the church because you love the church. And this is also a reminder to us. And maybe time also for us to remind you. When I say I like the term love offering, it does not mean that we love the offering. No? Para malinaw lang ho sa lahat. We do not love your offering. Just like St. Paul said in the first reading, we love you. Your offerings are useful for the cathedral. But in the end, it is not the offering that we love but you, our community and family. My dear brothers and sisters, let us learn from this wisdom of God today and let us also try to assess our daily lives. Let us learn from Jesus. Do not love money. It is meant to be spent but it is not meant to be loved. Alagaan ang kayamanan, ingatan ang kayamanan, gamitin ang kayamanan, pero wag na wag mahalin ang kayamanan. Hindi yan minamahal. Let us learn from Our Lady today. Our Lady who said to God, I am the handmaid. I am the servant of the Lord. Mary, who focused her love not on worldly riches, but her love is focused on God, the master of her life. We pray that through the intercession of Mary, we may be protected from greed and love of money, and Mary may teach us how to become true and loving servants of God. Amen. Please stand. God and trusts us with gifts to be used for His glory and the good of other people. We pray that we may become responsible for all of these and be worthy of His trust. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may be committed in our ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be responsible and honest in the use of government resources. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may overcome a virus by daily acts of generosity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the poor and the sick may find support from concerned and kind-hearted citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the dead 
may receive the eternal riches of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us that we may not be carried away by the lure of money, but seek the real wealth of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of blessed mary the mother of your son no petition may go unanswered no request be made in vain through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your, your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa lahat sa inyo na nakiisa sa umagang ito, lalo na po kayong mga dumalaw dito sa Manila Cathedral. At salamat din po sa mga nakiisa sa ating pagdiriwang sa pamamagitan ng online broadcast ng misang ito nawa ay ipanalangin ng ating mahal na ina lahat ng mga intensyon at petisyon na inyong dinala dito sa kanyang tahanan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.